MDS is caused by mutations that occur in a patient's DNA in their blood cells. And at Washington University in St. Louis and Seidman Cancer Center, we're interested in trying to understand why uh, patients develop MDS that are caused by these DNA mutations and how can we use these mutations and the information to then target their MDS cells. So these DNA mutations uh, not only cause the disease, but at the same time they provide a molecular fingerprint for these MDS cells in a patient's blood and bone marrow. And the reason this is important because uh, we can then track these MDS cells in the patient during treatment and in remission. And the, the, again, the importance of that is we know how effective the therapy is, but also if a patient's uh, having an early relapse before we can see it clinically under the microscope. So this new DNA sequencing approach that we can use to track the cells uh, can allow us an earlier window into understanding the effectiveness and whether patients need new treatments. But also catch those early uh, relapses that we could then in investigate new clinical trials that would be appropriate or more aggressive therapy to prevent a relapse down the road.